is David with App Shatter. Today I'm here with the Past Events What Happened on Your Birthday app. Past Events is an app that will allow you to uh, find out what famous people were born on any given day, uh, what uh, famous events happened on any given day, and it offers a nice, simple, easy interface to do it. Kind of the idea is that you can do it for your birthday so you can find out uh, what app has happened on your birthday in the past but obviously you can also choose any other date and do it for those as well uh, once you open the app you kinda have just that one button and touch it and you'll be given a list of all the days and months you can select so let's just kinda randomly pick one uh, once you get your date picked just hit confirm date it'll take a few seconds to download it uh, obviously uh, here you can see I'm on my Wi-Fi connection at home which makes it pretty fast uh, it does take a few seconds to load over a slow edge or 3G uh, access but it's not too bad it's all text and while it is a lot of text it loads uh, pretty quickly uh, obviously because you do have to download the information from the internet this is probably going to be an app that's going to be of even more interest to iPhone users who have a constant uh, access to the internet available to them but um, even iPod touch users will probably find this app interesting uh, to kind of find information to post to their social networking accounts and such uh, once you get uh, your information downloaded, you get your three tabs up here at the top. You can view all the events, all the births, and all the deaths uh, on that day from different years. Uh, it will start with the oldest events at the top, and as you kind of scroll down, the events will get more and more recent. Uh, if you find uh, something that you think is particularly interesting, uh, but you see it kind of cut off, like maybe this one right here, all you have to do is just touch it and it'll bring up a pop-up with the complete text of that particular event which is nice and if you decide at any time that you want to share any of these all you've got to do is just hit the share button and you've got four options there to share it email and SMS use Apple's built-in apps obviously email uh, it can populate itself meaning that if you touch email it will open an email and automatically paste it directly into the body of your email uh, SMS uh, the iPhone SDK limits that ability and so it will open a new message in the in the messaging app uh, but you'll have to uh, paste what has been copied to the clipboard by the app into the message and then send it uh, Twitter and Facebook use simple interfaces uh, you just kinda touch the button and you'll log in Twitter uh, you'll just send it out real quick right there and Facebook uh, is kind of a one-time thing once you log in then you can quickly and easily from there on out uh, update your status down here at the bottom uh, you've got your back to select date button and go back here and start a new one uh, the feature that I found the most interesting, uh, the thing I, I use the app for most, is finding information about the current date. As you can see, you got the Today button. Just touch it, it'll go straight to the current day, and you can go in and get information about it. This is, this is pretty nice because you can find kind of some interesting tidbits about what happened years and years ago on the current day, and uh, post it to Facebook or Twitter or whatever you want, uh, which is... Uh, a lot of fun so as you can see uh, that's pretty much all that this app has to it the interface is simple uh, but the app does exactly what it says and it does it quickly and easily uh, past events is currently available right now in the app store for 99 cents uh, if you'd like more information about it or if you have any questions uh, you can view my full review uh, you'll see a link in the uh, little information below the video there uh, as always if you have any questions comments or anything feel free to leave a comment on this video or to uh, visit appshotter.com and comment there I'd like to thank you so much for taking the time to view this review and have a great day